Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Kedricks here again, doing another video for you guys today. It's been quite some time since I last did a video, and I explained why I couldn't do a video. It is mainly the reason because of, like, us moving to the new house, and here we are. The new house, we finally made it. Uh, we moved in on April 1st, and we spent the past few weeks unpacking and getting everything inside the house. Um, looking at the locations around here, and I got my whole collection finally on display like I wanted to back at the old house, and now I have it back over here at the uh, new house, so I'll expect to see a collection video very soon, but we're not going to be focusing on that. Um, today we're going to be doing a video on my favorite um, dinosaur figures that I have in my collection. I came up with this idea and I shared on Facebook that I was going to do this video and that I was hoping that some of my friends on the uh, like dinosaur collecting, that are, well, my friends that are into dinosaur collecting would hopefully um, want to do this too and they were glad enough to like say that they were going to do the videos and um, I saw one of them by my friend Tyler and um, he beat me to it because I was planning on uploading my video first but he got his and he had some good suggestions and well, now it's my turn. So this is basically just going to be consisting of dinosaur figures that are models. I'm not going to be including any Jurassic Park figures because um, that's for another video. But let's get started. Uh, we'll start off with my favorite Papo figures. My number one favorite Papo figure is the running Tyrannosaurus Rex. I really, really love this figure a lot. It looks great. The detail is good. People said that it was based on the... Uh, Vestatosaurus Rex from uh, King Kong, the 2005 movie, and I can see why, but it's not entirely accurate to that one because it doesn't have the color scheme and it's missing um, one of the fingers that it had and the arm should be shorter, but I can see why people would say that um, it looks like it was based off of that one. But I really love this just for the detail and it just looks awesome. So yeah, you guys should know what this figure looks like. Most of you have it, so that's my number one favorite for Papo. Uh, my next favorite for Papo is the um, Velociraptor version 2. I like this one for the very reason that it has the color scheme of the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor, um, which I really like that design. And I always thought those raptors were scary when I was a kid the first time I saw JP3, so that's why this one is my second favorite because it kind of reflects the paint job that they had. It's not entirely accurate, but it looks almost like it, so there you go. My second favorite for Papo. My third favorite for Papo is the baby Triceratops because I really love the coloration on this. It looks very adorable, it looks very, very cute, and to be honest, it's how I pictured a baby Triceratops would look, and it captures it in every way possible. And the detail is great, and I just love it because it's a it's a baby. So yeah. Uh, my fourth favorite is the Papo Allosaurus, just because of the detail. I mean, it might not be accurate to skeletal, like to the skeletal reference, but it's still a great model overall, and I really like it. I prefer it over the uh, the um, Schleich one and I really love the coloration on this one it's kind of like a bluish green with some brown I just love it for the detail and the design not accurate but it looks pretty good and my last favorite for Papo which I think is my fifth one is the adult Spinosaurus version 2 with the uh, different color scheme um, I like it because it looks like the Spinosaurus from Dress Park 3 and personally, I do like the design of the Spinosaurus from Dress Park 3. I like how they didn't go for the paint job. But it looks really great, and I like it just because of its size and its detail. Again, not accurate, but I like it because of its detail. So that's Papo. Um, next, we'll go on to Schleich. My number one favorite for Schleich is the uh, green Tyrannosaurus Rex that my sister bought me. I like it a lot for the reason that, well, it's kind of a figure that you get nostalgia for. Like, I can see a kid getting this and being interested in dinosaurs. And to be honest, when I was a kid, this is how I pictured dinosaurs. 
I know it looks like it's based off the one from Jurassic Park, and I can see it all. And I know the inaccuracies, like the oversized feet, the long arms. At least they got the tail long, there's no feathers. And the head looks a bit too much like the Tyrannosaurus Rex design. But I like it because it's kind of nostalgic. And that's the main reason why I like it. And also because of the detail. The detail is pretty good. It's not accurate, but it's still pretty good. And my second favorite for Schleich is the Carnotaurus. Because um, the detail is very, very fine. I personally prefer this over the new Schleich one. And I like it because it's based... It looks like it's based off the design from Disney's Dinosaur, and I grew up watching that movie. And that's the main reason why I like it, because of the detail and that it reminds me of <clears throat> it reminds me of the Disney Dinosaur Carnotaurus. So yeah, again, not accurate, but I like it for that reason. Now for one AAA figure that is my favorite is the Allosaurus because it looks like the uh, drawing artwork that Charles Knight did for early interpretations of Tyrannosaurus Rex and Allosaurus. This is actually a T-Rex because it has two fingers, but I don't know why they call it Allosaurus. But I like it because it reminds me of Guanji from um, Valley of Guanji. So, yeah, that's why I like it. Um, for Carnegie, I only have one, and I only like it for the reason of its size, and that is the Patasaurus. I like it for its size. It's not accurate again, but it's understandable because it's a very old model. But I like it for its size because I view a Petasaurus being a big, massive dinosaur. And this basically gives me all that I've been wishing for. Um, let's move on to Safari Limited. My number one favorite for Safari Limited is the Stegosaurus. Because it, it looks very accurate. Um, not Maybe not entirely accurate, but it is a very accurate interpretation of Stegosaurus with the small head, the large body, the massive plates. The coloration looks very volcanic, and I like that. Kind of reminds me of magma. And I got this when I went on a trip to one of my favorite places to visit, Palm Desert. Um, the zoo over there. I got it there, and it's my number one favorite for the coloration and its accuracy. Um, next for Safari Limited. Um, my favorite, these next two are from the Great Dinos lines is the Therizinosaurus. I like it. Um, it appears more like a Nonthronychus, but I like it for the feathery detail. And it just stands out from all the other ones. I mostly collect the old Safari Limited figures instead of the new ones, because as much as I love the new ones, I can't really get them. And these ones are more common. And I like it just because of its design, and it's very huge. It's very big, and it looks nice. So that's... The Great Dinosaur Therizinosaur, I really like it. And my final favorite for Safari Limited, again, like I said, I collect the old ones. I don't have any of the new ones yet, but I'll get them soon. Is the Great Dinosaur Petasaurus. You can't see him. There he is. And I like it for its coloration because it makes sense, like I said in my review, which I'm planning on re-reviewing this model, by the way. Is because it's got a, it's a massive creature and its body kind of looks like that of... It's like a very powerful creature, like an elephant, and elephants and hippos and rhinos, which are very big creatures, usually have like two colorations, and that's what this figure has. It's not very bright, but I like that because it's a massive creature. You wouldn't expect to see a bright coloration on a figure like this. I mean, on a creature like this, even though I do think that's good. And I like it because, again, of its size... Because a patasaurus means that the dinosaur should be big, and I like it because it reflects um, how massive it is. It's not entirely accurate, but it's good enough to have. Um, for Chat May, I only have one because I do have Chat May figures, but the only one I like is their Ophthalmosaurus, a very nice aquatic creature. I like it for the coloration as well. It's not accurate, but I like it for the coloration, and you know. Ophthalmosaurus is really not commonly made, but I'm glad that at least Chat May would made one with a great coloration. Now, for my favorites of Terra by Bat-Tat, um, is their Tyrannosaurus Rex, because it's pretty accurate. It's made by the late and great Dan LaRusso, and it's been gone through. It's been going through like some paint jobs, and personally. I like this one over the other one just because it feels a bit more organic and natural. It's green. Um, a lot of my T-Rexes in my collection are green. 
but it is fairly accurate and I like it because it doesn't look like the one from Jurassic Park and to be honest much like other people I do get tired of seeing the Jurassic Park design using being used on some T-Rexes next for Terra is the Pachyrannosaurus um, I like it because of the paint job and I don't really have any Pachyrannosaurus this is my first and that's why I love it a lot and it's very accurate and it's nice and thick too Instead of being skinny and anorexic like other companies make them. So yeah. Although I would have preferred a different paint job, it's still pretty good. And my final favorite for Teravibat Tet is the Acrocanthosaurus. I really love the coloration. Um, its posture isn't correct because it's leaning over and it's a tripod figure. But I like it because it's very thin. Acrocanthosaurus was kind of a thin creature and it's got the nice back sail. And I like it. It's very nice. So there we go. All right, on to the big figures. Um, here's the toy major uh, training company Tyrannosaurus Rex, the large 18 inch figure. I like it because of its size and its detail and that um, it looks very old school um, with the kangaroo stance, it dragging its tail like a lizard. And that's the main reason why I like this one because of its old design and its detail and just its size overall. So, for Toy Major Training Co., that's my favorite. Alright, on to the uh, um, statues and model kits. Um, this is the Polar Lights Pteranodon model kit. Um, I like it for the very reason that it looks great. It's nice and big. It makes a good display piece because of the, the base and the appearance of it. And I also like the custom base that I made at the bottom. Um, they're also very great because you get to paint it the color you want. That's the main reason why I like um, these ones. So there we go. The Polar Lights Trinidad model kit. Up next we have the Tamiya Tyrannosaurus Rex model kit statue. Um, I like this one for the reason that it looks like... Um, it looks very old school. Again, like I said, I really love old school dinosaurs. And for the fact that I painted it to look like Grumpy from The Lost, because he's my favorite old school dinosaur. I really like it for its size as well, and the fact that it's very well detailed. So, the Tamiya Tyrannosaurus Rex model kit. Up next we have this dinosaur statue. Um, I have no idea what company this is, or um, what it was for or who it was made by but I like it for the it was felt so it was like very fluffy um, now it's, it's rock solid because I repainted it looks like to look like Rexy or Roberta from the uh, Jurassic Park films you've seen this in the last video I did so yeah there's that one up next we have this huge rubber velociraptor that I got at Walmart for 10 bucks. Um, I like it for its detail and that um, it doesn't really look much like the ones from Jurassic Park. That's why I like this one. I also love the uh, paint job on it. It's very basic. But the detail overall is great and I love it for its size. So Walmart velociraptor. Here we have this T-Rex from Toys R Us, that's part of their Animal Planet line, it's made out of rubber. I like this one because it reminds me of the female T-Rex from The Lost World Jurassic Park, which is my second favorite film from the Jurassic Park franchise. I love it, looks really nice on the shelf, and yeah, Animal Planet Toys R Us T-Rex. Oh boy. So. Last but not least, we have this Velociraptor that I recently got from Toys R Us for their out-of-business sales. Um, I like it because it appears to look like the uh, big one, which was the name of the raptor from the first Jurassic Park film. That's the main reason why I like it. Uh, not in appearance, but in coloration. I also like it because of the detail and its size once again. And if you put it next to the other Velociraptor I have, um, they look good together. 
so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is how videos are going to be done nowadays in the new house. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I hope you guys share with me your favorite dinosaur figures in your collection. Um, I'm really great that you guys were glad enough to take this opportunity to do this video and to watch this video. And I will look forward to seeing your guys' videos on your favorites. So thank you guys for watching and stay awesome.